Hi, my name is Steve Hughes. I've got a short tutorial here to show you how we can add some uh, denting down the sides of uh, our object, which in this case is a silencer. I want some small divots down the side to, to reflect what we've got in our reference picture. Here's the reference image. And you can see we've got these very small dents down the side, but the dents are deformed around the center hole or the center pin where it was obviously punched or gripped, mechanical grip. There's a couple of things to notice. We actually have some size in the center. We don't want it to be just a, a small point. And it isn't actually a hole. It is a deformation around. Um, we can see we've got three in this first section and three with an offset in the second section of the silencer. And looking at that, I reckon we're going to need six divots around the circumference. That's, that's what I want to do. That's what I'm going to create here. So let's drop back into Maya. Here's our object. Um, it is a reference object that we're going to use to, to build our geometry. It uh, was made with a cylinder and it has 36 divisions around the circumference. And so we want six um, divots. God says 36 divisions, so 36 divided by six divots gives us six faces. We need to use six faces for each divot. And I'm going to do that quite simply with a plane, a polygon plane. Let's go into move mode. Bring that up, bring that forward so that we've got somewhere to work. Uh, we'll focus up on that one. Um, so we, can, we said we needed three uh, divots in the first section. One, two, three. So this is a bit small. We want to maximize the use we've got. So I'm just going to modify it and make it about a third, something like that. Um, we also said that we were going to have six faces and we've currently got 10, so we can simply change those down to six faces. Now that gives us the approximate size of each of our divots, which is great, but it would be a little bit difficult or a little bit tiresome to go in and start moving all these vertices around to make the shape we want. It's much easier if we just create a cylinder. Uh, let's move the cylinder up so that we're back in our workspace. I also want to move the origin, so press insert. I'm going to v-snap this to the top press insert again and focus up on that and I can also hide out our, our silencer at this point. Um, I'll put wireframe on shaded so you can see what's happening. I'm just going to v-snap this in the z direction. It should be aligned the other way just so you can see what we've got. Now the default cylinder that comes in um, probably has too many faces here. Um, We'd have a lot of divisions, we'd have a lot of work. In fact, if I just scale this down slightly, you can see that would be a lot of work. We'd end up with a lot of quads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the number of divisions down to 12. And then we can see quite clearly that this would, this would snap a lot nicer to six faces. Um, if you're going to have more detail, you'll need to play around with these settings. Now we need to create concentric rings that we can use to create the detail of the divot. You can do this in a couple of ways. First way, you could reduce the number of caps to zero. That gives you a face on the surface. Um, you could then select that face and extrude in, giving you the detail you want. But since we've got a cylinder, I'm going to use the detailing we've got and create four caps that will give us all the faces that we need here. Um, we've probably now got too many faces, so we can now delete off all of the detail that we don't need. And I also want to line this up vertically. I'm going to snap this V, snap this in the same direction as our plane. And we can see that that's fitting in quite nicely. We probably don't need all these faces in the plane either. We just need the edges. We just need to define uh, where our, our divot is going to be. So that gives us the borders from which we can work. Um, I'm also going to select the vertices and just scale them out slightly to give me a little bit more room or a slightly larger divot if you prefer. Scale that up. Perfect. Okay, so we can start by selecting our inner edge. I'm going to select contiguous edges and Maya doesn't want to select all edges. I shall manually select them. Uh, and we can just move these. Now the first ring that is going to go in, it doesn't need to have a great deal of depth to it. Uh, you want a gentle bleed off from the flat of the of the actual cylinder into this divot. The second set, because we've got more detail here, we'll also select with contiguous um, edges. 
we can bring that down slightly and again we're just going to increase the, the blending that we've got there and then finally select contiguous edges bring the inner one in fact we've probably got slightly too much on there so I shall select contiguous edges move that up again and then we have a nice gentle fall off as we get to the center obviously we've got a center vertex Let's select our vertex I'm going to move it down I'm not going to go for a completely flat center I'm going to have a slight if we go to wireframe mode I'm going to have a slight uh, rise in the center it should look good when it's rendered okay that's really all of the modeling that we need to do for that um, guess we need to really combine these two objects select them both go to polygons combine and now we can start merging the vertices so vertex mode select them V snap and work around your model just snapping away these edge ones here I'm actually gonna click on the Z direction and just snap up to here continue working same here just gonna click on the V and just snap it to the edge here and this will just make sure that everything's uh, there's no severe change in direction and everything will be nice and mostly quads <laughs> except for the center oops didn't want both last couple and obviously we're gonna have to merge all these vertices when we're done okay so we just got a little bit more detail to fill in I'm gonna select polygons append to polygon and I'm gonna start press Y to repeat Y again and again and finally finish these off now personally I don't like these extra edges that we have here so what I want to do well before I delete them I'll just want to subdivide go to um, edit polygons and press the subdivide I've also got my magnet switched on and you may want to switch yours on it'll help get the exact center of the of the edge there this now means that we have a number of edges that we can delete just select those edges and delete and there we have one divot completed